Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Uh, today I want to compare uh, all of these Lyman pliers, the Gardner, ben Gardner and Bender, the channel block, the channel uh, lock code blue, the salt wire, the ideal uh, wireman soft grip series, the Weha industrial uh, soft grip any style Lyman pliers, the Crescent Pro series, the Knipex, um, high leverage uh, Lyman pliers, as well as the Klein Journeyman series uh, Lyman pliers. All of these ply, all the manufacturers here who, who, who made these pliers claim that their pliers are made with high, of high leverage steel, uh, um, uh, uh, hardened steel, laser etched steel is, is top of the top grade steel. Well, we're going to see it, uh, see about that. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of tests to perform with these pliers for the sake of time and also in space. Um, also, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible because I don't want to make a long video and I can't upload it to, vid to, to, to YouTube. But with that being said, I want to talk as quickly as possible. There may be some things that I, add, uh, that I say and some things I may forget to say concerning these pliers. But I'm going to try to do my best in describing these pliers, tell you the, the good and the bad about them. And, and it, remember, keep in mind, it's just my opinion, um, what I'm putting out here uh, about the, each and every pliers, uh, each, one of the, each one of these pliers. Uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. And I pray, I mean, uh, and, and I ask you that you, um, I hope that you find something interesting uh, in this video. Uh, and I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. Okay, let's just start with the garden and bender. Uh, these pliers here is... Let's go with this for us, the grip wise. The the grip, they they feel good. They feel good. Uh, I don't feel like it'll give you any kind of calluses or anything in your hand. They feel good. The 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 steel, the cut the steel, the edge, it feel okay. It's smooth up here, but I feel some sharpness around here, right at the corner, and that could be dangerous. You could cut just you grab the wrong way too quickly. You find yourself with cuts in your hand. That's 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 kind of bad. Uh, yeah, I do feel that. It should have. They should have like kind of smooth that off. I feel it on all all sides. Yeah, right here too. So I'm gonna, that's that's the point I'm gonna take away from them because of that. Now as far as the gripping, the the the, the, the teeth. Oh, they they. Oh yeah, they. And the knife part right here, it feels sharp. The teeth, the teeth here are are really sharp and I feel like it a grip. Even the teeth that they have back here really feels good. Now, these pliers here has a, um, a crimper, and that's a plus. Uh, this is not a fish tape puller, but still, this, that's a plus. And I can see myself using these on uh, out in the field. Uh, a good pair of pliers right here. Okay? Now, this is the channel lock code blue. Everybody know about channel lock. The American made... Uh, they put a lot of pride, they take a lot of pride in, in, in any and everything that they put out. Channel Lock has been around for a number of years, a long time, let's just say that. This is their Cold Blue Series, and this is a nice pair of pliers. Uh, they don't feel uh, cheap, well, cheap at all. Um, they These pliers here, they the, the grip really feels good, soft, very soft. It's really smooth, I don't feel any burrs in it at all. They, Laser etched. I don't feel any any birds at all. The teeth they really feel aggressive, uh, like they would grip something. They even have the serrated teeth back here for pulling. Uh, this is not the fish tape um, version, but still you you they give you a um, you get a crepper, you get a cutting the, the the cutter right here, and also you get um you got you can strip wire and give you a little incision for. Put your wire in to help you round off your wire, and uh, when you when you put an insulation off your wire, um, uh, this is a very good pair of pliers right here. That's channel lock uh, code blue. I recommend those too. Now this is this is salt wire. This is their version of the Lyman pliers. This is model number uh, SCP9 by by salt wire. It's it's an okay okay pair of pliers. They have a the serrated teeth at the top on both sides for reaming out conduit. This doesn't have a crimper or anything like that. It doesn't, this is not the fish tape version as well also. But the, 
you know, if 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 it feels okay, it's it's you know the the quality for us, the the steel feel feels like it's okay, um, but I can feel some some sharp edges, and I don't like that feel, just like on here. But these feel it's feel the edges I feel on this one, it's worse than a garden and bender. They really feel sharp on here. I, I can see my you can see yourself cutting if you grab cutting yourself if you grab these the wrong way, and I don't know if it's just this pair or all. But I'm just telling you what I feel on these right here. The soft grip or supposed to be their version of a soft grip doesn't. It's not soft at all. It's just hard melted plastic. If you if you melt a piece of plastic and let it cool off, that's how it feels. Just hard. Um, it really feels cheap. I see that they're trying to take after uh, Klein with this lacquer finish over their over their logo. Um, but this is this is other than that. I guess it I guess it'll work. Um, these pliers. I don't see myself going out and buy the salt wire alignments, but if somebody was to give it to me, that's all I had. Yeah, I'll buy them, but it won't be my first choice. Okay. Now, Ideal is a company that's been out for a very long time. Uh, I don't know the number of years, but they've been out a long time. At one time, that's all you heard when uh, uh, when you thought about electrical work and tools. You all you, you heard of uh, names like uh, uh, Greenlee, Klein, Ideal, um, Gartner and Bender, um, and I, um, let me see what else. Yeah, and that was at one time for American Tools is concerned. But these pliers here, they really feel good. They the grip is so soft, just like those grips on the channel lock. These are so soft, and the grips on here, very soft. They have the little uh, gripping teeth back here. They have a crimper. They have a cutting uh, die right here. They have the fish tape puller. This is a solid pair of pliers right here, the Ideal. And this version is the Ideal 30-3430, and it's made in the USA. Very good pair of pliers. And speaking of the USA, I know a lot of uh, salt wire tools uh, be made outside the USA. I don't know if this version was, but um, a lot of the tools be made outside the USA. As far as I know, what I know, Channel Lock is made in the USA. Ideal um the Gartner and Bender. I'm not sure, but this is the number of the model number. Uh GCP dash three four zero zero. And I'm not sure if they were made out of out of made in the United States or what. But um Okay. Now this is the Weha. These um uh, this is new. I haven't seen it. This is my first time seeing these. Uh, these they this made in Germany. Then this the this is their version of um, industrial soft grip, the NE style uh, lineman pliers. Now these pliers right here, they really feel good. This is very soft, not soft like cotton or anything like that, but it's it's very soft. Got it, it feels good to say these are German made pliers, and and Germany put out some very good tools. We have put out some top notch tools. This feels really good, smooth. I don't feel anything at all. Uh, it don't feel top heavy, even though the head is much longer, kind of longer up here than most of the pliers. Well, I can't see the channel lock is about, about the same. Okay, but anyway, it feels really good. This doesn't have a crimper. It doesn't even have the serrated teeth back here, but they have them up here, but just on one side. The teeth here feels really good, like it's uh, real aggressive and it'll grip something. Uh, the blade feel very sharp right here. Um, and the grips feel fantastic. Uh, uh, I mean, yes, they feel like the ideal. Like I was just talking about the ideal, the channel locks, and the garden bender. Now, uh, and this the this is their new their, their version of the industrial grade uh, lime and plies industrial soft grip. Now, this is the Crescent. This is Crescent from Crescent Tools. You may have, if you may or may not uh, have heard of Crescent Tools. They've been out a long time. Crescent Tool makes uh, the adjustable Crescent wrench. Well. Um, this is a nice pair of pliers right here. A very nice pair of pliers. There's nothing cheap about it. Um, this feels really good. The, the soft grip is not cheap. It feels comfortable in the hand. The pliers itself feel real nice. It's well balanced. It's very smooth. I don't feel any rough edges at all. It has a crimper. It has the serrated teeth back here for gripping. It, um, it has a fish tape puller right here. Um, and the the blade itself feels real sharp, very sharp. And uh, this this is, a, let me see, in the teeth. Yes, cross-hatched teeth. 
for gripping and it's a, it's a winner and uh, the crescent uh, I'm not sure if that's American made or not but it's a good it's a darn good tool darn good tool by crescent now Knipex these are made in Germany Knipex um, you may or may not have seen a lot of videos on on YouTube about these Knipex this is a well machine tool also um, it feels good it feels good and now the grips doesn't feel as soft as uh, as the as the garden bender, the channel lock, the ideal, and um, weha and the crescent, but it feels much softer than the the salt wire. They, you know, they, they. I guess this is Germany version of uh, well, weha's version of the soft grip. It, I mean, I can't see it being. It, it don't feel hard where to give you calluses on your hand, but it just doesn't. For some reason, just feel a little harder than um, the rest of them. You know, except for the salt wire. Now the now the, um, the 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 steel itself. This is uh this this is high leverage steel. This is quality steel made right here. And and what I like about them also, uh, we have Knipex tools. You get them out of the take them out of the package. They're ready to go, ready for use. You don't have to oil them or anything like that unless you choose to. These pliers are ready to go. I like uh, the cutting. The, the cutter right here feels really sharp. They don't have a a, a, a crimper. They, um, they don't have a fish tape puller. They just have a cutter and a gripper in the back, gripper in the front, and you go. You just do whatever you have to do. But yes, other than the grips, feeling you know, if you base it up on for a softness, they're not that soft to me. Um, but other people may feel you know, it's just my opinion about them. But they're some nice pliers. If I had to compare them against uh, the Weha, the Weha's take it. Now, everybody know about the Klein. This is the German series made in the USA. The, uh, these these are some darn good pliers. You can they they really feel heavy. You could beat these to death, and you know you could beat them, and uh, they they're gonna last. In fact, these pliers are over 15 years old, and I've used them in the field for a long time, and. And you know I don't I have I haven't used them in a destructive way. I don't use them to beat anything. I have beat things with them, but I have them like you just made them out of my designated pair, of, uh, 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 a designated hammer per se. But I have used them to knock some things in, you know, but not like a nail and things like that. I go get me a hammer, you know, to do that. I don't just take my I use the right tool for the right job. But uh, these uh, they're not worn or anything. They're old. They feel about 15 years old, not older. But the, the teat still feel, they still have grip to the teat. They don't have the teat in the back back here. They don't have any serrated teat up in the front. They feel nice and smooth, nothing that will cut your hand. And that's always a plus. The soft grip right here by Klein, oh, it's a winner. Klein is known, Klein, uh, the Klein company is known for having, uh, 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 at least a German series, some of the best handles, soft grip handles in a business. And I like this. I, I, I like client USA made. Now, I, I don't mean to be biased in any kind of way saying that because it's in the U.S. It's not made from the USA. It's not good. No, I scratch that out because um, it could be good coming from anywhere. And it could be bad, too, coming from the USA. But it just so happened. The client have been holding this on for a long time. These Crescents have been holding this weight for a long time. Adil do the same thing. Uh, been holding this weight. Channel lock holding this weight for a long time. Garden and Bender, these just happen to be good. I don't know about all of their tools, but um, these these American-made tools up here, the ones that I do know that's been made in the U.S., there's some darn good tools. Now, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm a, I want to weigh some of these tools just to see. I do know the decline is uh, 1.2, 1 pound, 2 ounces. I do know that. I just want to weigh all of them and just get an idea of what they um uh, but they weigh, I know this is 1.2 ounces. So uh, some of these I haven't weighed before, some of them I have, so just to give you an idea, the weight of the steel. The Klein, this is, yep, like I said, 1.2 ounces. Let's go to Knipex. One pound, Knipex is one pound. The uh, Crescent, let's go with that and see. 1.2 pounds. Okay, that's the American made right here. The um, the Weha. Let's see what this weighs. One point two pounds. Okay, the ideal. 
1.1 pound the uh, salt water 1.2 pounds okay the channel locks 1.1 pound and the gardener and bender 1.1 pound okay 1.1 I mean 1.2 the, uh, the the Knipex was the only one that weighed one point one pound exactly. The rest of these are one point one pound. So um, that's just to tell you the weight of the steel and the heaviness of the steel. So now I want to do do some uh, quick cutting right now just to see how sharp it is and um, how how it feels cutting through this. This is number six wire right here, and I want to see just if it cuts like butter. How much pressure I have to put down on it. All right. Well, that was okay. This is, that's that's the salt wire. It was okay. It went through, no trouble at all. Um, okay, the carbon bender, that went through, no problem. Channel locks, uh -huh. like butter. The channel locks. Okay. The salt wire, I'm gonna put it in that all the salt wire and um, the um, channel lock went through like butter. The garden bender, just a little tiny bit of more pressure than I had to put on uh, using the garden bender than I had to use the channel locks and the other one. This the two group. This is the butter group, meaning cut like butter. This one here, just a little extra pressure. Okay, what well, we do know, we know all I'm gonna cut through here. I'm just trying to find out, like I just said, which one I had to use a little extra pressure to get it to cut this number six wire. So that's it. Okay, that's uh, American made ideal. German made Knippet. Oh my goodness, that was pretty good. Let's go with the uh, Weha. That was really good. Let's go with the uh, American made Crescent, like butter. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, I thought I did the Klein, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I did the Klein, I'm not sure. Let me just do it again. The Klein, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, now, um, no problem at all. Like I just said, I, I wasn't going to keep you guys long uh, for the sake of time. I'm gonna just, uh, I just want to uh, run this through right quick with all the pliers right here that we have here, and uh, tell y'all what I like and what I don't like about them. And so, so far, the ones that I that I don't like, uh, that I wouldn't find myself uh, um, buying, would be the salt wire, the salt wire, you know, and um, I would give all the rest of them besides this one and the salt wire uh, a number, a number one rating. That's the Weha. This is the Knipex. This is now. I'm not putting them in a certain order. Whereas I'll pick this one, two, three. No, I'm just put them all together because I gave them all these number ones. Um, the Weha. This is the Knipex. This is the I Ideal right here. This is the Channel Lock, and this is the Klein. This is the Crescent. And um, if this was all number one, and just out of this group, this would be number two. And this would be a far number three, right here. So, uh, with all that, with, with that being, been, have been said, fellas, uh, this, you know, I, I'm gonna close this video out. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I hope I said something today that that, that perked you guys' interest. And um, if you wanted to, to help you guys decide if you was looking to purchase some pliers, Lyman pliers, um, but don't sleep on these I, on on these Weehots. Don't sleep on them at all um it, it really have a comfort grip it really have a comfort grip and in fact uh i mean it's a different type of softness but they really have a comfort grip these clients they they you know well you know client if you know anything about uh, client tools they feel good also and um but anyway uh again i will uh, thank you guys for stopping by it was a pleasure talking about these tools uh, today. And um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. 
uh, and hit that like button. And uh, until the next time, the next video, I'm going to tell you guys, be safe as always. Peace out. And check out my uh, other videos that I have out there. And, uh, and again, hit the subscribe button so you get a notification for my future videos. I have a lot more stuff coming in the future that we can um, that I'll be reviewing. Thank you guys and peace out.